have the urns up for summer, right. and it's time to switch things around for the, the you know the colder weather, and knowing that Thanksgiving's around the corner. Right. How do you dress your doors? Well, especially if your mother-in-law is coming over. Yeah, That's the first thing you want to nice. do is you want to make that really good impression. Yes. So the doors that we have with us today are all from the Home Depot. We're going okay. to take a look at the first door that we have uh, already decorated for, on the far side there, which is the Oakville door. That it's is a nice, gorgeous. I like beautiful the, I like door the by the way. Yeah, it's a fiberglass door. You can see how simple it is. You're just yeah. putting a little reef up, which is a pre-made. Uh, on the far side, on the left side, you just have some floral picks yeah. inside a little bucket. Make sure you weight the bucket on the bottom because if not on windy days, it'll blow over. That's true. The white pumpkins on the bottom, those are artificial, but they can transition really easy over into winter, so you can reuse them for winter. Nice little opening floor mat, a traditional fall mum, which is really easy, and then a nice little hurricane candle that I already broke the glass on. <laughs> So you make it sound so easy, but the yeah. look is fantastic. It's a, it's so a, not a lot of work, but very high impact. That's the whole idea. You yeah. know, your, your entranceway, your front door is allowing people, hello, this is their first impression. Right. So a, w a great way to do it is not to overthink it, just add a few accessories. So let's do this one right here. This one here is called the Chatham door. And what I thought okay. with this one, we'll start off with a nice little floor mat. And we picked a floor mat that has the, the, the right color. I'm going to get you to put that floor mat down. Oh, this is lovely. Take really a look at good. that first. And the nice thing about that floor mat nice? is that um, Three little birds. the great thing about that floor mat on the far side okay. is put a little bit of an angle like this. Very then what nice. we're going to do is put another this little... This guy's got it going on. How many of your husbands do this kind of stuff? <laughs> another awesome. fall mum and a nice little container on this side. Put a little bit of Dusty Miller. Let you know as well. With the Dusty Miller here, I just yeah. stuffed them in. Didn't even plant them. You can pull them out easy. Yeah. Then what we can do is use this Dusty Miller with some greens for Christmas. So I'm, this is kind of an idea. So I'm also doing fall, but I'm thinking Christmas because I want to spread those dollars out. You know what? I'm also going to mention here, you've got the mums in here, which is one thing. But to add this in... It looks like you've done a lot of work, which is nice. That's what you want. It's just a finishing touch. It it's always, a finishing touch. It makes it more fuller. And a lot of the times you want to add your mass on the top. Yeah. And then this is almost like bouquetting it around the bottom, which is Absolutely. a little bit of great. Absolutely. you just put no, a few, these are gorgeous. few little candles in the front, light mm -hmm. them up. People welcome in, and then that'll be a great little way. Even for Halloween, you throw a pumpkin there. You're totally done. And white pumpkins are available. Didn't put a door hanger on that one. Right. I do need the hanger for the next door. They brought me, I asked for the hanger to be brought over. They brought me the other reef. Oops. So I need the hanger. So you want to go the grab hanger, it? Which Wendy will grab it for you. So. You know what's really nice, though? If you've got a door that looks this beautiful, if your house is an absolute disaster, who cares? Yeah. <laughs> they come in, they're like, oh, but your door was really nice. Well, that's They the, can yeah. slip on a banana peel when they I, walk in. Whatever. Exactly. It was and that's why they're yes, the they are. It's really going to kind of mark a space. We're going to do a, a statement. little bit of a harvest theme here. We're going to put a little bistro table up. This table is so fantastic. All you're going to do is slide the legs out like that. Of course, you're is gonna it have done? A, no. Do but my side. You can see that you're mechanically inclined. Yeah. <laughs> is it over? Is it over? <laughs> so you put a little door. This is what I love to do sometimes. We can put a pumpkin right on a table yeah. like this. Then what we can do is if you're like me and you don't have a lot of room at this time of year for some of your different squashes. I love to eat squash at this time of the year. Oh, and these are some sudden, good looking squash. Decorate with a bunch of different squash. From your garden, my friend? From, well, these ones here, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to lie, I'm not going to cheat on this one. Okay. These ones here are not from my garden. This is from a local farmer. All right. But what the nice thing is when you put a little array of different squashes up, what you'll notice is during the season, oh, beautiful you, can, you can go to your front door and go, I need a little bit of squash. <laughs> and walk in so you can actually use it and it creates a nice little, it's a great way for storage. Clearly you don't live in downtown Toronto because this is how it would look when you got home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just joking. That's kind of true. But with the harvesting We live too, in a safe neighborhood. <laughs> we're running a... <laughs> Do you really? Gonna okay. Put a, a little oh, you put some hay. Yeah, a little straw. Hay. Hey. Hay is for horses, girl. That's a that's very a nice idea. That's, that's a good idea. That's a straw idea. bale. Hay is for horses. Uh, oh, this okay. Is straw. Gotcha. So another nice little uh, door entrance way. You can see we're you a little tight for space. But very nice. Kind of the idea right there. Oh, whoops. Well, Perfect. This this way, there we go. So I like bit, it. A little bit for space. What about those chairs? And then you can we don't even have put room for them. A little bit of some wheat. Actually, you can pass me one of those chairs right now. And the chair I would put actually on the far side. But you can even put a chair right at that top. Uh, that little setting. And I'm going to sit here finally, and eat my gourds. And finally, what I would have done yeah. is would have just added this. Oh, well, that is obviously the piece de resistance. And there you go. A nice they little, tra it. A little traditional harvest. You like harvesting. the wreath, eh? Where'd you get yeah. the wreath?
I love the wreath. All of these products are available at Garden Gallery Berry, yeah. which is a good thing because it's my family's location. It's a good thing because I broke things here already, right, some stuff. Okay. So when I go back, I just go, Dad, you Could don't you have to give me a Christmas. you buy stuff and pay, pay them back for yeah. everything Frankie broke? I just say, Dad, I, don't worry about that Christmas present. Yeah, very good. Okay, yeah. great job.